Welcome back to Carolina Week. I'm Andy Reeves. The number one ranked men's basketball team had an easy time Sunday in its home opener against Mississippi Valley State. The crowd at the Dean Dome was fired up for the new season. There you see Coach Williams throwing some t-shirts to the fans. Must have been a bad throw there. But the heels came out running as they always do. There's Dexter Strickland with the flush. John Henson also showed off his new offensive repertoire. Nice little floater. He finished with 18 points and the heels broke 100 for the first time this season with dazzling plays like that. Wow, nice pass. The heels win 101 to 75. The UNC men's soccer team will be moving on in the NCAA tournament after this game winning shot by Enzo Martinez. The heels found themselves down twice against Coastal Carolina's high scoring offense and Coastal's keeper held the heels scoreless in the first half. But there's no stopping shots like this one by Kirk Urso. Check this out. Really nice goal, and it was so good, we're going to watch it again. UNC will take on Indiana at home this Sunday. Well, it wasn't all good news for Tar Heel sports this weekend. The women's soccer team lost 5-4 to four in penalty kicks to Central Florida on Sunday. This is the second year in a row the Heels have lost in the third round of the NCAA tournament. And speaking of heartbreak, the UNC field hockey team fell 3-2 to two in overtime to Maryland in the national championship game Sunday afternoon. The Heels held a 2-0 lead with four minutes to go in the game, but the Terps were able to tie the game and finish the Heels off in overtime. This is the second year in a row for them that they have fallen to Maryland in the title game. The football team will play its final game of the regular season on Saturday against arch rival Duke. In last year's game, the Heels racked up 519 yards of total offense, including 255 yards on the ground. That's Sean Drone with the rushing touchdown. The Heels will be looking to put some more moves like this sweet spin by Drone on the Devils this, in this season's game. Duke has the 80th ranked rushing defense in the country. The Heels will also have to focus on shutting down a vaunted passing attack. The Devils boast the nation's 28th best passing offense. Well, the game against Duke on Saturday will be senior night, but safety Matt Merletti won't be playing in his final home game. Reporter Clint Hanna checked in with Merletti to see how he's dealing with what could be the end of his football career. Senior Matt Merletti usually leads the Tar Heels onto the field with an American flag. But after suffering a knee injury on this play against Clemson, there's a chance Merletti won't put on a Carolina helmet ever again. And by the time I got in the locker room and everything, that's when the whole sadness thing hit and uh, I broke down into tears and it was just a devastating feeling, the whole thing. Dr. Elizabeth Hedgepeth teaches sports psychology at UNC. She says that type of reaction to a severe injury is pretty common. First, they go through grieving because they've lost something. They've lost their They've lost their identity, they've lost their sport, they've lost what they were all about. But the injury wasn't as bad as Merletti initially thought. After a surgery that left him with only a few small bandages, Merletti isn't even using crutches. But he isn't ready to play just yet. Merletti has spent more than 1,000 hours practicing football on this field. But if you're looking for him now, Merletti can likely be found right here doing his knee rehabilitation at Keenan Stadium. Rehab does get a little boring and kind of frustrating at times. Hedgepath says rehabilitation can actually frustrate an athlete as much as help an injury. There's nothing fun about rehab. I mean, it is just bloody boring. I mean, you can only do so many leg lifts. After a while, you just go bonkers. Merletti says during rehab, he thinks about getting back on the field but he is also aided by the support of UNC fans. Yeah, it was, uh, it was extremely eye-opening when, uh, when I received all the support from people I didn't even know and, and fans that I did know. And uh, that, was a, that was a great feeling to, to know that I had people to kind of fall back on. Merletti says it would mean the world to him to play one more game in Carolina Blue, but the doctors must clear him first, and they're unsure about that right now. In Chapel Hill, I'm Clint Hanna, Carolina Week. Well, guys, while uh, the medical staff hasn't cleared Merletti to play just yet, they have said there is a strong chance that he'll be able to play in the bowl game should Carolina go to one. So a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Andy.